what is going on everybody it is dealing with astro dfs bringing you a brand new video today's video i'm going over uh week two's two game slate um we got san antonio against orlando and arlington against houston uh so we've had two underdogs win so far uh, but I'm going with the favorites in these games. San Antonio, uh, San Antonio against Orlando, um, taking that spread. You can get it anywhere from three and a half to four. Uh, Houston, uh, anywhere from four and a half to five. I believe I got it at four uh, before it started to jump. Uh, in San Antonio, I got it three i do believe uh maybe three and a half somewhere but i believe i got it at three so i'm on both those favorites i like both these teams both the defenses uh so let's get into it so quarterback there's two guys that i'm targeting uh and that's both the favorites uh that's silvers and cohen um brandon silvers uh you could just i mean look at his number someone here uh we'll go to this just to kind of get a better uh perspective uh brandon silvers um against orlando so this is why we it, it's kind of comparable for jack cohen here uh brandon silvers 26 of 42 two touchdowns two picks 272 yards uh and we look at jack cohen who played st louis um st louis's defense so far hasn't looked terrible um so but jack cohen 25 of 36 207 only one touchdown uh and one interception so these are the two guys that i'm targeting um orlando uh paxton lynch is listed as a starter uh they're going with him um in this matchup but if he starts to play poorly again um uh, quentin dormday uh dormandy sorry uh hope i said that right uh will then get in as he did uh last week when paxton just couldn't get things going uh and then drew plitt will be the quarterback for arlington and i'm not really interested in him both these guys are playing defenses who uh, as of right now i would put these two defenses as top three uh they would be my top three um dc's up there um i mean last night they looked really good especially once the rain hit i mean they were they were pretty shut down defense uh defense there so uh silvers and cohen are my two quarterbacks i'm targeting um we go to running back the interesting thing really quick before i started it off uh, this is my first time doing a um a normal slate not doing a showdown um they have less positions your average salary is 7100 you can almost pay up for everybody if you wanted to if you put a defense in um but getting back into it um running backs there's two that i'm really targeting uh that's uh, max borgie and uh kalen Bollage, both from favorites uh, you're gonna hear a lot of that today uh in this video of guys that i'm targeting um uh kalen Bollage, uh i'm more looking at than borgie uh, although I do feel like Max can be just as good, if not better, fantasy-wise in this game. Uh, I mean, we can go and look at some of their rushing numbers. Uh, Kalen Bollage uh, leading all running backs in attempts still, and there's been um, two games played. I don't believe they put the DC and Vegas game in here yet, but um, as you can see, 24 carries for 84 yards. Um, and we go and look at his receiving numbers, and they should have it in here. Um, three receptions for 13 yards, so... Um, definitely a lot of volume, uh, for Kalen Ballage and he's, he's tall, he's tall for running back, um, which means almost like a Cordell Patterson in a way, uh, is how I would compare him. Uh, Matt's, uh, Max Borgie here at 8,000 against Arlington. Um, last week against, uh, Vegas, Vegas is not a very good run, uh, running team. I mean, we clearly saw it last night if you watched the game. Um, so it's really hard to say if Arlington's rush defense is that good or their defense is that good i think vegas honestly lost that game um last week three turnovers two pick sixes uh, one of them was clearly right to the defender um like easy pick six um for arlington uh and the other one was pretty pretty close too so i don't expect that out of houston to throw two pick sixes and give arlington the win um, I do think Arlington can be competitive. Uh, they're listed as one of the favorites to win. Still, uh, I'm I'm not fully sold on it yet. Um, I mean, you can go and look at uh, Drew Plitt's numbers. Uh, 172 yards, no touchdown, uh, no pick. I think we talked about that, yeah. 19 for uh, 25, like, accuracy-wise, it's pretty good. Um, but that offense really didn't do anything. It was all the defense uh, for the most part. Um, the only other person that I would consider putting in um is devon smith here at 5700 he's probably the only other guy that i target 
um, in, in for running backs. So those are my three. I had favorite Kalen Bollage, uh, Max Borgie. Um, I wouldn't go two running backs. I think there's a lot of wide receivers that are playable. If you do want to go two running backs, those would be my two. So now we go to the wide receiver tight end. Um, and I, I kind of wish they would just have a tight end. Um, even though it's kind of hard because some teams really don't use the tight end that much, if all. So uh, I understand it, um, but it would make it a little bit easier. Um, but I guess for what we have right now, that's just what we're going to get. Uh, so let's get into some of the names that I like. Uh, and yes, you could tell by the fantasy points, this is who I'm going to target. That's all we're going off of. This is all we have to go off of. So it's not saying, oh, the target shares this, this, this. It's going off of how many routes or how many snaps they were on the field for, how many targets they got, how many uh, receptions they got, receiving yards they got, uh, touchdowns they got. Uh, unfortunately, I can't find a red zone number yet. Um, I, I think it'll be a while before we get some of the more in-detailed stats. Uh, so we're just going off of what we can find. So, um Dante Burnett for Houston, um, definitely a guy that I'm targeting in this matchup, 8,500. Um, let's go to receiving. Sorry about that. Uh, we'll go to receiving, and as you can tell, third. Uh, he was second, I believe, um, in week one. Uh, 12 targets, 90 yards, 8 receptions, and a touchdown. Uh, Travell Harris right behind him, 11 targets, uh, only 5 receptions, but 48 yards. Uh, and then we go down and Jonte Kirkland. Uh, eight targets, 71 yards, uh, five receptions, and a touchdown. So uh, I, I think, yet again, all these receivers for Houston are playable. Uh, I'll talk about them, but um, Deontay Burnett, 8,500, yes. Like, that's the pay-up guy. Um, R Charleston Rambo going against San Antonio yet. I uh, haven't seen it. Uh, I really do hope he does good. Uh, I liked Rambo coming out of college. Uh, not just because of his name, uh, that definitely was a bonus, but, um, just looked pretty good coming out of college. So, uh, mentioned, uh, uh, the other Houston wide receivers, um, we'll get him here. Um, Jontae Kirkland here at 7,100, uh, same thing. Good matchup for him. It's a good matchup for both San Antonio and Orlando. Um, and most of them are playable. Uh, but John Trey Kirkland here at 7,100. Uh, and then uh, Travell Harris down here at 5,900. So if you're looking to save some money, uh, Harris is down here at 5,900. I don't think you really need to save money. You could pretty much pay up uh, at almost every position because, look, really quick, if we get the most expensive defense, we're up $400 for everywhere else. You just have to have one or two guys under that 7,500. You can almost afford everybody else uh, in that. So now that we have the Houston wide receivers, um, out of there let's let's go and continue so uh jalen tolver um becomes the number one guy in san antonio uh, as you can see landon acres is on the ir uh ha had a really good game for san antonio um we saw what or uh clearly what houston was do <laughs> did to orlando last week um and jalen tolliver being now the number one guy clearly uh at 7200 i am okay with paying for him uh definitely want to get some action on the san antonio side uh especially if you're getting um uh ballage um but you're not getting um if you're not getting jack cohen here you're gonna definitely want someone like uh jalen tolliver against that orlando defense who kind of looks like the worst defense in the league right now um just going off of one game i know it's not a huge sample size but um yeah so next we have sal canella number one tight end in the league um, I think is what we're going to say right now. There's obviously some, um, competition. Wolf had a really good game last night. Uh, and then Latimer is another guy. So these, these are my two top, uh, top two tight ends. I think Wolf comes in number three as of right now. Uh, we'll see how that goes week to week. Um, but yeah, if you want to get off of favorites and get some under, uh, underdog action, Sal Canella is a guy at 6,500 being the tight, uh, the tight end seven receptions for 70 yards uh, gets you 14 fantasy points um to put it in perspective uh they have cody latimer listed as a tight end um but if we go to orlando really quick they have him listed as an h back which means he kind of goes in different positions so um at 3700 he is a very discounted player uh him and paxton lynch had a pretty good connection um but at 3700 he's he's your discount guy that you want um, 
but as far as uh an arlington guy uh sal canella is definitely the guy at 6500 he's under the, your average player so that's definitely a guy that you could buy low so you're able to kind of pay up at all other positions if you wanted to go to the two running backs uh that's a guy that you definitely get in your lineup um to fill it out uh next we have andrew uh jameel uh 5600 yet again I, i'm not trying to go a lot of the underdog guys uh of orlando and arlington um but he is definitely a guy to consider uh we go down here and find him eventually um but yeah four targets 80 yards three receptions and a touchdown had a big touchdown which got you the points uh he kind of seems like their deep ball threat uh so at 5600 he's someone to consider uh but i wouldn't buy it in too much remember san antonio's got a pretty decent defense so i wouldn't expect all that much from him uh and then last cody latimer 3700 um you can go uh, cody latimer as your discount i mean look what happens if we put him in your lineup 500 there Let's go to the defense. Put that in. You're up to 8,300. You can afford basically everybody else on this slate. Um, so those are my guys that I'm I'm really targeting. There's some other names down here. Uh, Eli Rogers is another one. Uh, Fred Brown you can consider too. Um, four receptions, 36 yards, and a touchdown. Um, but as far as guys that I'm pretty much targeting, those are my guys. Uh, and then last but not least, the defenses. Uh, Basically, Houston and San Antonio. These are my two defenses. Houston, I, I'm definitely okay with paying up for. You look at what they did to Orlando. Seven sacks, four takeaways in that game. Uh, and then you look at San Antonio, five sacks that they get. They don't get any takeaways um, against St. Louis here. And obviously, that fourth quarter breakdown. Um, but you're, you're going to want to target somebody against... Paxton Lynch and that uh, very shaky Orlando offense. So uh, let's kind of put a an example lineup in. So first off, I, I'm paying up for the Roughnecks defense uh, quarterback. I am I'm gonna go with Jack Cohen. Um, I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna go with Silvers. I like Silvers more. Uh, we're gonna go with Kalen as our running back for right now. We're gonna put Burnett in there. Uh, we're going to get uh, Canella in there as well. Um, and we have 14,000 left. Um, we could get Borgie too. Uh, it's very interesting to see what we could do. Um, we want to get a San Antonio receiver in here. So let's get Tolliver. And that leaves us with 7,600 to get one more guy. Uh, can't afford Borgie here. Uh, we can't afford Kirkland, so I think we just go Kirkland. I think that's the other piece that we get. Uh, and let's put them in there, and we got 500, and that's what we have left. So uh, that's just an example lineup for you guys. Uh, anyway, I, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope it helps. Um, I, I gained a few subscribers off of uh, the last two uh, videos of the showdowns. Uh, so if you guys do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. That means a lot to me. And I will see you guys for week three. Uh, I do believe we have an earlier game. So uh, probably earlier in the week, I will have a video out. And I will see you then.